everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you so much for being here, and welcome back to my channel. All right, the one video that you have been waiting for that I have been teasing you about in my previous videos, and that is my coconut cream pie made with the protein sparing modified fast bread as the crust. All I can tell you guys, I have eaten one of these pies already because it is a few days later that I am doing this intro, but it is the best pie that I have made to date. It is. It honestly is the best tasting. You're going to have to have it on your keto days. The macros are really, really high for your fats, for your protein spring modified fast days, but I have given you options for you to have some other things on your protein spring modified fast days, but this is going to be one that you are gonna wanna make ASAP and that you're gonna to wanna to have on one of your keto days. So in this video, I will be sharing with you how I make the coconut cream pie. The only thing that you will not see me make is the crust, but it is made the exact same way. I ended up making two coconut cream pies with this recipe. So I made two crusts. I made one in a glass pan. The other one I made in my silicone pan. And the one that I made that was in the glass pan turned out amazing it looks like a legit real pie with the pie crust and absolutely everything it turned out so so good so all i did was i just lined it with the protein sparing modified fast you have seen me do that before in prior videos that i have made my pies i have made the lemon meringue pie the chocolate cream pie a pumpkin pie and it's all made the same way just make sure that your pie crust is thick enough so that it's not going to be brittle and break but you're going to want to make sure that it's not too thick that it doesn't get completely done in the middle so I cooked mine for 15 minutes in a 325 degree oven and then I took it out I did not leave it in there with the oven off I left it in there for 15 minutes at 325 and then I took it out I let it completely completely cool before I started adding anything to it like my coconut cream filling and everything else so it turned out so good I hope you are trying my pie recipes. If you are and you're making them, make sure that you tag me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, you need to be. I post on there every day, usually with what I'm doing, what I'm eating, and just absolutely everything. And also make sure that you're part of my Facebook group. I also have both of those linked in the description. My Facebook group, everybody is sharing their recipes. You can share your pictures and you can share what you're eating on there. So make sure if you're making these pie recipes, please be sure to tag me in them. And of course, if you are sharing them on YouTube, make sure you let me know so that I can see what you're making with all of these pie crust recipes with the protein sparing modified fast bread. Also, if you have tried any of my pie recipes or you want me to try another pie recipe, let me know in the comments what your favorite pie recipe is, if I haven't made it already. Um, I have a few more ideas. Obviously, I have tons of ideas using this protein sparing modified fast bread. If you haven't seen one of my later videos, I made protein sparing modified fast donuts. They turned out absolutely amazing. I will definitely be making another batch of those ASAP. So, so please let me know what you're liking in the comments. You guys know I love talking to you guys in the comments. It makes me feel like I actually have real, real virtual friends and you guys are my friends. So I love hearing from you and what you're trying and what you're eating these days. So make sure that you leave me a comment down below. All right, so without any further ado, let's get this pie party started and let's make that coconut cream pie. All right, we are going to get started on our filling for our coconut cream pie. In this saucepan, I have two cups of heavy whipping cream. I just put it in there. You will need to have that on low and you're gonna wanna bring it to a simmer, okay? Keep that at a simmer for now. I'm gonna keep an eye on it while I mix up the next ingredients. So you will need two large eggs and one egg yolk. We will put that in our bowl. And then one egg yolk. I just put the egg white over in a different container just off to the side. And we also need a third of a cup of swerve granulated sugar in with the egg. 
All right, and then what we're gonna wanna do is I'm just gonna lightly mix this together. Then we are gonna take about two thirds of a cup of our warm um, heavy whipping cream and just pour it into the mixture. This is just to get the temperature um, you know, in with the eggs so that the eggs will not cook once you add it to the rest of the mixture. All right, and then we are gonna add this mixture in with the rest of our cream that we have there on the stove. And then we are just going to stir this consistently, stirring this for about four to five minutes. All right, I have taken it off of the stove. It has thickened a little bit. Hopefully it's thickened enough. It was probably on there for like five to seven minutes that I left it on there. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two tablespoons of butter, the coconut extract and the vanilla extract is what we're going to do. All right, so there goes the butter. Stir that in. Then we are going to need one teaspoon of coconut extract. And then we are going to need just a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. All right, and then we are gonna give that a stir. Then we are going to need a fourth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. And we are gonna sprinkle that over the top, over the whole entire thing. And then what we're gonna do is we are gonna quickly uh, whisk that. All right, so a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just gonna make sure that I'm ready here. I'm gonna sprinkle that all on top. And then we will quickly whisk all that together. Then we are going to add one cup of unsweetened coconut to this mixture. And then we are going to let this cool for about 30 minutes and then we can put this on our pie shell. All right, so we are ready to make the topping for our coconut cream pie. So I have put the fillings in. It has made two pie crusts. I made two pie crusts and then I split the filling because it actually seemed like a lot of filling. So I am going to make some heavy whipping cream. I'm gonna make it into whipped cream for the icing, but I don't have, I'm not sure exactly if I'm gonna have enough for both of the pies. I just have a little bit of the powdered swerve left. I know I definitely have enough for one, so I may just have um, the topping for one, and then I'll get some more powdered sugar later on and do the other one. But I'm gonna make the whipped topping right now. So if you haven't seen my whipped cream, my homemade whipped cream, um, I will link that video in the description. It's actually one of my earlier videos that I did, but I do make my own uh, whipped cream. I put sometimes I put it on my coffee or I'll have it with some berries as a dessert But it is a very very good recipe. So let's get started. All right, so for this recipe. It's really really simple It's only three ingredients. I use a cup of heavy whipping cream and Then I use a half of a cup. I either use from a quarter of a cup to a half a cup of the powdered swerve So actually, you know what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna use all of this I'm not, I think I have a little bit over a half a cup, so I'm just gonna actually double my recipe and have it for both of them. So I'm gonna use two cups of my heavy whipping cream. And then I'm just gonna put all of the rest of this, but like I said, normally it's about a quarter to a half per cup of heavy whipping cream, okay? But I'm just gonna put all of the rest in here. And then a dash of vanilla. And then that is it. And then we just whip it on high for a while. I would say it's a good five to, five to seven minutes. That is all whipped up. It only actually took a couple minutes to do that. 
And then these are both of my coconut cream pies that I have. So I'm going to try to split it between the two, but feel free if you guys want to make more or less of the heavy whipping cream, you know, just so you know, you don't have to use this amount. You can use less. So I'm just going to plop it on there. I've mentioned it before. I like to plop it because then it just doesn't wreck my whole entire pie once I start spreading it. All right, so I'm just gonna spread this all over both of my pies and then that is it. This was actually really easy to make. Um, don't feel like it's overwhelming. It's actually turned out really, really easy to make. So can't wait to try it. I hope it tastes really good. <laughs> I made two because originally I was supposed to be going on a camping trip. And then here, unfortunately, in Southern Alberta, we have new restrictions. We're going into the fourth wave here and that was all canceled. So I have two pies. I'm gonna see maybe if like my dad will like one of them um, and go from there. But either way, they will be eaten. If you guys haven't tasted or tried my whipped cream, it is so, so good and easy. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I had toasted a little bit of the unsweetened coconut that I'd used and I'm just gonna sprinkle it over top. All right, and there are our two pies. So let's cut into one and give it a taste. at that you guys it turned out absolutely perfect all right let's give it a taste all right let's taste this pie it turned out amazing and it came out of the glass pan perfectly so this is the piece of pie and we are gonna have a bite hopefully you can see that it is absolutely perfect really really good looks really really good let's taste it All right, these pie recipes keep on getting better and better, I swear. <laughs> this one, I, I always say when I make a new recipe that it's my favorite, but this is so good. This one I think is gonna be my new favorite, the coconut cream pie one. Like, how can you say no to that? Like, look at how good that looks. It is absolutely delicious, everyone. Try this, I guarantee you, if you're a coconut fan, if you are a coconut fan, you will not be disappointed. I honestly think my dad will like this, so I'm probably gonna package up one of them and give it to my dad, and then the other one I will eat over the course of the weekend. <laughs> so really, really good, I highly recommend. Um, I will see if I can figure out the macros because the recipe that I used for the coconut filling, I will have that in the description below, but I don't know if it just separates, like I think it does it all together because there is a recipe in there for the crust and the whipping cream and everything, but I used my own recipe for the whipping cream and then I used the protein sparing modified fast bread as the crust. So I will see if I can figure out the macros for the filling and per slice of this pie. You all know that I do my pie recipes at, in eight servings because I like a piece of pie. I don't want a little sliver. I want an actual piece of pie. So I always do it for eight servings. So I will try to figure out the macros for each serving and then I will put that on the screen. But I'm telling you, this is my favorite pie recipe that I have made. And I have made a few of them. I've made pumpkin, chocolate, and my lemon meringue pie. This one is my favorite. I love coconut. I love anything coconut, anything lemon. So, but this one turned out 
really really good you would have to have this on your keto day though um, that is the only thing there is way too much fat for a protein spray modified fast day but definitely highly recommend making this I hope you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that red subscribe button give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video thanks for watching